I bid you welcome. We are in the ruins of an ancient pre-Roman Dacian city in the Carpathian Mountains of Transylvania. There's an archaeological dig happening over there. The Dacians performed sacrifices at this temple. Blood would flow across carvings in the surface of this sacrificial altar to form the shape of the sun. It's pretty interesting to compare the Transylvania of the modern imagination with the real place. The statue of Decibel here in Deva is carrying the Draco as a sigil, one of the earliest Transylvanian folk creatures. That name Draco was given to it by the Romans, and it really just means dragon in Latin. But its name is the direct linguistic root of Dracula, the son of the dragon. Let's see what else we can find. I'm Rafael Coronelli, and this is How to Have an Adventure in Transylvania. Bucharest, Romania's capital, is in the southern region of Wallachia. From there, let's head north, into the Carpathian Mountains, and into Transylvania. We are at Castle Braun, a little bit of a ways outside Brajov, Transylvania. It's heavily advertised as being Dracula's castle, and it's kind of not. Uh, Bram Stoker said Dracula lives up at the Borgo Pass, which is far north from here, and we'll get there later. But it kind of looks the part, doesn't it? It looks like the type of place that Dracula would live. Vlad the Impaler had nothing to do with Braun either. We'll get to him in the next video. Braun was built by the German Saxons who were settling in Transylvania in the medieval era. Its location in southern Transylvania put it on the border of what for a long time was the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In the early 20th century, it was the residence of the Romanian queen. Braun is well worth checking out, but in order to go where Dracula is said to live, you have to go much further north, 
to the Borgo Pass. Got some defensive measures up there. The one Dracula attraction at the Borgo Pass is the abandoned Hotel Castle Dracula, home to a statue of Bram Stoker that's the closest the author ever got to the place he made famous. crossroads that leads off into a mountain forest. On the other side of the pass is Bukovina, the Romanian region that extends to Ukraine, about 30 miles as the crow flies from the Ukrainian border. We have ended up in Bukovina, which is the part of Romania that actually crosses over the border with Ukraine. I couldn't possibly feel safer. I think that we, you know, being in a country that has suffered invasions before, um, you know, y you feel lucky. Uh, and I, I think we can only hope that Ukraine will be able to say the same thing uh, pretty soon. Hey, thanks for checking out the first video in my Transylvania series, which is actually the first video ever on this channel, so uh, welcome. If you want more Transylvania and more depth than I could possibly go into in these, you can check out my book, How to Have an Adventure in Transylvania, which is available at the link down in the uh, crypt beneath the video. We've got more of these coming, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And next week, we'll be back with another one of these where I will be showing you around the hometown of one Vlad, the Impaler. Stick around.